and if you've got the right pan. And this is the nonstick miracle meatloaf pan brought to us by our buddy Chef Tony. And it's only $15 and change. Now, I have three colors. Now, the pans themselves are all going to be this beautiful gunmetal gray. But it's the insert lid portion that is where you can make a color choice. I have it in red. I have it in black. And I have it for you in the blue. This is $15.46. Let's meet Chef Tony and wish him a happy new year. Happy new year to How you. are you, buddy? Back home. Thank you, sir. Nice to be here as always. This is an amazing concept. Why don't we dazzle everybody with so many stuffed meatloafs? Absolutely. One of the things my mama did for us all the time is instead of making the meal with meatloaf and vegetables and things on the side, sure. she put all the good stuff. On the inside. The inside, so, okay. And I'm gonna show everybody how you make one soon. This is our Mexican meltdown. I'm just gonna turn that to camera so you can look at so, that. So is this turkey meatloaf? This is turkey meatloaf, and we're gonna give you five recipes for the meat that we just took some burritos and placed on the inside with a little bit of spicy sauce. Bake that baby off oh. and you are set and ready to go. Well, the next one you're gonna show us is God's most perfect meatloaf. <laughs> this is your favorite, so I'm just gonna open this up to camera. It's a beef meatloaf stuffed with macaroni, macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese. This yes! one, we're gonna do this. We'll give a nice little cut. You have a nice plate over there. I'm gonna place this down for you, David. And then you can give that a taste. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I just had my honey belt juice. Now I'm gonna have my, my meatloaf with mac and cheese. You'll see how the flavors from the mac and cheese kind of get inside the meat and vice mm -hmm. versa. Would you be kind of going to hold that <laughs> just for a second? <laughs> so I can bust out the first one of 2015. Happy dance! Happy dance! Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, thanks, Mom, mm -hmm. for teaching me. <laughs> no, 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 one of my favorite ones is just simple. Take a whole bunch of your good favorite beautiful cold cuts, place it on the inside, then you fill it up with the rest of the meat. And I'm just gonna go to one that we had almost finished. Okay. Okay, and then you turn this around, and then when you press it, it actually locks the sides of the meat, and it forms your meatloaf. That's ready to go into the oven. Now we're gonna take this, we're gonna place it on the inside, right. and I'll take out the finished one. Mm. This one's a little warm, so I gotta get my chef hands going here. Okay. We'll take this out. First thing I wanna show everybody is that frame actually keeps the meat above the bottom of the pan, so any oils, greases, or fats are not sitting in your meat, but you can actually pour them right off the pan. Well, so I just wanna show everybody. To know, it's important to know that meatloaf is like a sponge. Correct. And if it sits in all of its rendered fat, it'll soak it right back in. This elevates it a bit, so the fats and oils can drip down. So you've got a leaner meatloaf. Now, admittedly, unless you're using a very lean meat, mm -hmm. meatloaf is not a very low calorie dish. But if you can reduce some of that fat and calorie and cholesterol, then that's a, that's a good thing. Absolutely. And because we're not letting it sit in all that grease and fat, you're gonna get a better flavor. I'm gonna actually cut a and, slice of this and one. And I just will go on record as saying, I don't wanna live in a world without meatloaf. Look at that, David. Mm. Just look at that. So mm -hmm. all those flavors, mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you, mm -hmm. all the flavors from the salami and the cheese kind of melt into the meats. What a neat idea. It's so, and, it, and it's easy. It's basically a one pan meal. You take your favorite foods, put it on the inside of the meatloaf, press it down, bake it off in the oven. The flavors are fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Simple mm -hmm. to use. And then wow. I give you 15 recipes so for good. the stuffings, plus you'll get five recipes for the meats and five glazes for the top. But it's like endless. This one over here I just want to show. This is so it's good. It's one of my favorite. This is asparagus cordon bleu. So we took some ham and some cheese, wrapped it up with asparagus, placed it on the inside, baked that off. And this one we did actually with our beef recipe. And that's my daddy's beef recipe. So it's got a nice onion kick to it and some nice fresh parsley. Now, I do want to remind everyone, Chef, that we sure. do have color choices. We have this in red, blue, and black. You will also get a little recipe book to get you started. There are five recipes included in here to get you started. And in fact, I'll give you, there are glazes and sauces and, oh, the slamming mac and cheese stuffing. All right, that Absolutely. one's in here. The cold cut stuffing that we just did is in here. Papa Frank's Italian stuffing is in here. Asparagus cordon bleu. So many of these recipes. Chef, I think there are more than five in here. Uh-huh. 
There's well, a great big handful recipes, of them here. So you can do chicken, beef, turkey, and even fish. All kinds of goodies. Just, and that will come with this. So if you're looking to breathe new life into your old meatloaf recipe, you found the right tool. Absolutely. This one is really simple. Cheese and broccoli nice. that we usually have on the side of the plate, except we stuffed it on the inside. So again, you're going to get all those flavors melting right in the top. I put some cheese on the top, and I did this with our turkey stuffing. So you have turkey and the, and the cheese and broccoli. That looks delicious. Thank you. Now, this one's for my mom. I just want everyone to get a, a gander at this because it's really cool. We took her managote. <laughs> Let me see if I can make room here. And we actually stuffed it on the inside. Oh my goodness. So, four and then you topped it with more of the sauce. Correct. A little bit of tomato sauce down there, a little sauce and parmesan over the top. Bake that off. So, it's like having managote and meatballs, but it's all in one. So, mm. <laughs> it's, a, it's one of those things that's fun. For my best friend Gus, I made a nice little Greek stuffing. So we have spinach, <laughs> all the kalamata olives, some feta cheese, a nice little glaze on top with the feta cheese going. And that one's done with our chicken recipe. And I, with the chicken, I make it Greek spice. So it mm. all ties in together for that flavor profile. It's so delicious, you guys, and so easy. You just need the right tool to get to the finish line. You know, when I first started hosting in the kitchen with David, I said that, you know, there's a good cook in all of us. We just need the tools to help us get to the finish line. And if you've got a tool like this that will allow you then to stuff the meatloaf with your favorite filling, with the favorite filling <laughs> of your family, then everybody's happy, everybody's eating a big hearty dinner, and during these cold winter months, what's more comforting than a wonderful hot piece of meatloaf? Absolutely. This one I had to do myself because I'm a pizza fanatic, so we did a pizza stuffing on the inside. So you have your pepperoni, a little bit of mozzarella, some fresh provolone, stuffed on the inside, did that with a meat a recipe. And remember, even though it's a meatloaf pan, I just want to show this too. You can do things like breads in our pan. You can see how perfectly caramelized wow, that is. Oh yeah. You can do stuffed peppers. Let me just show this to everybody as well. So it's not just for the meatloafs. Actually, your imagination is your only limitation. All right, we have uh, taken orders for just over 1,400 of these. We Thank have the you, blue, everyone. we have the black, we have the red, and we have Chef Tony back in our kitchen, Yay. sir. It's always a pleasure. Thanks well, for I having see you me. On Wednesday. Um, no, I'm actually going to Vegas to meet my new grandson. Oh, that's awesome. Hey. Congratulations. Thank you so Congratulations. much. Congratulations. This is Kay, 39240. Our Mary is standing by with a little look at our cookbook that's coming up. Mary. <laughs> Hi, David. <laughs> well, this is our friend, Julia. How are you? Good. So nice to see you again. From America's Test Kitchen, and mm -hmm. it is lovely to see you, too. And coming up in Cookbook Corner today, brand new <sighs> mm -hmm. slow cooker recipes for America's Test Kitchen. Yes, what I love to say about...